Hello everyone on YouTube, this is Jordan and I'm back for, and I have another video for you guys. This is me in Hawaii, um, it's the last day of Hawaii and I was spearfishing with my friend Jonathan Grobel. So I took Jonathan out, I asked him if he, if he would like to shoot me under water with my Picasso and he agreed. Um, he had the Hawaiian, the, the three prong full spear and I was using a three fish gun. So first I showed him how the spear fish gun works and I kind of just hold, hold the finger on the water. Mm -hmm. Spear shot out. It's gonna be cool. But we spent some time trying to find fish in the Waikiki Beach. Oh, we're fish, spear fishing in Waikiki Beach, by the way. And then we kind of swam around a little bit, um, trying to find some fish. And then so suddenly, and then we finally found it. I dived underwater, and then I had to tie the our. Um, floaty onto a coral so it doesn't float away. I stayed in the water for like another 20 minutes or so and then I spear some fish um, with my spear gun. And the next thing that you know I was I was back from the ocean and I came out of Waikiki Beach. Jonathan was waiting for me there. I had a spear and I had a fish on it. So he saw it, he was like, wow, yeah, she caught a fish. Cause because he never seen me spearfish before, so and yeah, like it was it was cold and like I was like I was shaking and stuff. Just imagine this. Um like w whenever people think of Hawaiian ocean, you always think that it's warm, but in the winter is actually it's not cold, but it's, it's chilly if you stay there without a wetsuit for a long time. Me and Jonathan were staying there for like an hour, and then like we were really... I mean, spearfishing, you don't move around, so like you get cold after a while. And after I came up, <laughs> the wind was blowing against my dry, wet body, so like it took out some heat and then I was freezing. And, and then I showed Jonathan the fish. I had one on my spear, it was still breathing. And I had two in my pocket. A pair fish and a convict gang fish. A pair fish, which is uhu in Hawaiian, and a convict gang, which is manini, ma manini in Hawaiian. After that, me and Jonathan, we went back to his apartment because I didn't have a place to cook the fish myself. Um, I was tenting, remember? Hello guys, this is John. Hey guys. So, he, uh, he boiled the fish, he was a really good cook. He made some butter sauce along with it. Um, some, some butter and then some spices mixed together. Um, yeah, and then I got the fish myself, like, we, we tasted the fish, it was delicious. The first fish, um, the, the one that you see on the spear, its meat was really, um, it was really, like, it doesn't have a taste to it, but, like, it was really fresh, because I just caught it, like, less than two hours ago so like so all the fish were like really fresh and like it has I mean like the first three fish that I tasted um that I speared myself I mean had, it just had to taste good and then the second one the Paris fish had that more flavor to it like that blue 
pear fish. The Hawaiians, they call it uhu. It had more flavor to it. That, was, that one was my favorite. And the third one was the dark black fish. Um, it's called uh, ma manini, manini fish. Um, like its meat was really solid. It's, it's like the hardest, like most solid meat that you can find on any any fish. I would say it's, yeah, like it's it just like the meat was just so solid. Yeah, but it had the flavor was in between the parrotfish and the first one that didn't have any flavor. Um, overall, it was a great experience. Um, of course, just being able to spearfish myself, just go into the sea, spearfish, and then just come out and just cook the fish um, and then and then eat it like, within like everything done within like say three hours. That's, it was one of the dreams come true, definitely. Okay, um, that's it for today guys. And for more Hawaiian videos, I will upload more over the next like two months. Um, yeah, I'll see you guys then.